Don't lying, you'd love this thing. You love to drive it, drive it. So this is my transport. <laughs> Gonna be my tra transport forever. Local star. Local star. So, if you're in rural Thailand and you're on a budget, this is the best way to travel, in my opinion. If you can't afford the car, and you're going to get a motorbike anyway, this allows you to transport stuff too. Did we riding Iron Man car? We're going to get some oil. Yeah, it's so much fun. So our usual place was closed. Let's check this place. So we found one that's open. There she is, with a 95. So we'll also get some in this yellow thing. You can use the lawnmower too. So we use for the lawnmower and we use for this bike. Needed doing. This is, the, this is the furthest we've been on the bike. Any Nangdu toilet sap, no? Any Nangdu toilet sap? Any tea jap toilet sap? Do you know? Tam eng, do I? Tam eng. I'm going to eat this. 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 There we go. Tasi, let's just eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of locals have got a good business going like this. They'll have the house here and then at the front of the house they'll put something like a shop or a petrol station or you know just something that can take over and bring in a bit of money. So it's a good way of thinking really. She's got a little shop here, she's got a petrol station and then obviously she's got a house, got a nice car and a house there and this is how they'll live then. So make a life for themselves. ที่บ้านบ้านนอกน่ะดีค่ะใช่วันอากาศก็ดีอากาศดีอาหารถูกอาหารถูกผักก็ปลูกได้ตะขาตะไคร้ก็เก็บกินได้ค่ะใช่
we've both been working in the garden and all sweaty so here she is she's putting a waterproof plastic on the roof I'll lift you up so we can see So this one, well it used to be for the rabbits in here, we're going to be using it for the chickens, not quite yet, as they get a little bit bigger. This will be their space, which is more protected from dogs and pigs and everything else we've had accidents with. Um, just unlucky really, we're unlucky. The dogs were smart and they could get in and... And we didn't expect the pigs to attack the chickens because we allowed the chickens to run free range and we had a free range pig but we didn't expect we didn't expect that the pig would eat the chickens but you learn you learn through doing i guess now when the rabbits were in here i actually did put some plastic on but the sun burnt it and here it is when the sun gets to it, that's it. And it'll probably burn this too. To be honest, this roof needs redoing. Uh, we do have a lot of spare tiles that we could, we could get four concrete posts in and we could have it tiled. And eventually I think we will, but we probably got one more season. It looks a bit rickety, but the bamboo underneath is still strong. And we probably got one more season out of it. We got white female turkey who is settling in well. She's a lot more scared than the black turkeys are she's just not used to people our black turkeys are inquisitive and used to being around people she's not we got two males one female i'm not sure if that's going to cause fighting or if it's um okay for the flock the garden keeps you healthy when you're out exercising in the sun but saying that i have got a bike coming a bicycle so I can go in the mornings, bicycle for my coffee, come back. Just to get that cardio, you know. I need a bit of cardio. The weight is coming on. And so a bike in the morning to get my coffee. That's the plan. All the chicks are settling in. I'm going to show you something in a minute, guys. I don't think you'll believe it. This is day three of having the chicks. And they are seem to be settling in quite well. They're very comfortable in here in the bamboo. You may recall I got a silky chicken for Damo. And for three days, it's just been sat in here. And it hasn't moved from this box in three days. It just sits here. In there it's got a little ball of food, a little ball of water and it sleeps in there and it just chills out in there. It's never jumped down, it's never pooped on the floor, it just sits here. It just lets you... It just lets you stroke it. Very docile. Very docile creatures. We've got four more white ones. But it just seems happy sat here. They don't like to be on their own, actually. So when the babies get bigger, obviously it'll have some friends. So it doesn't like to be on its own. But it's on its own. It seems quite happy now. It seems quite greedy of the food. Whenever you take the food away, it goes mad. Wow, Tis. That's so cool. Yeah. Good picture, Tess. Yeah. Little baby Hugo. Yay! Are you alright? You alright? You just playing here with your brother? Is it fun? Dada! Here! Here! Whoa! Is that a Stegosaurus? No. What is it? It's a zombie. A zombie? Mm. Let's tell everybody the truth now. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Rice and egg. No, what did you have before rice and egg? 
Before I an egg, ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast. That's a bad daddy, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> so, I also want to show you guys something. Tis. Tis plays Monopoly, guys. Every night we play one game of Monopoly, Game of Thrones Monopoly. And I don't believe it. Like, that game says 18 plus on it. And just check out Tis playing here. Snake eyes. Yeah. That's a double. Yeah. One, two. Can you go again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then. I'm going to buy this. You're going to buy it? Yeah. Here, 200. Is that how much it is? Yeah. Right, 200 for that then. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Right. You win. Daddy's got no money, no houses. No, you win. Win. This is the first time you ever play Monopoly and you win, didn't you? I, I, told you, I did play it before. When did you play it before? Have a tea fridge. This game here, you know what it says on the front? What? Age 18 plus. What? And how old, this is for 18 year olds. How old are you? Five year old. And you play Monopoly and you beat daddy, really? Yeah. <laughs> you actually really won. I, I, I tried my best. But good job, Tis. So if I again? No, it's too late now. <laughs> He's actually really good at it. Really proud of him. And last stop, a bit of an animal tour, this vlog. We're going to go look at the piglets. So we got a bit of sick pigs pooping a little bit. So we're giving them this. It's for our bad stomach and these two are done already. She gets, she gets, she gets really angry and she'll bite too. When you go near her pigs, you go near her babbies. Angry. So she won't let me get to the other ones that I'm trying to get to. So we've got to bring Damo in. We've got to use the brush sometimes. Use the brush and then she she bites. Obviously she don't want no one getting her babies. There are babies. But we're trying to help her babies. We're trying to give them give them some iron. Which they they need that supplementation. Crazy. All right, that's done, guys. So, thirteen pigs injected with iron, and then there's some medicine in their bowl. That was hard work, actually. It's definitely, definitely something brewing, guys. So, Daddy, you know what you need for the dick? Why? Because maybe you could have dogs. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Daddy, you know. So they've only got a few more days at school, all of them, and then it's the holidays. So it's the half term. And we've got Tiss on an intensive piano program. So his piano teacher will be coming every day during the holidays. And only one hour a day. But then the rest of the time, they can all play and, and be kids. So all of our dogs have insisted and coming with us. Cows to the right. And the noodle place is not far. This is another amenity that we have close by. We never feel short of anything to be honest guys. I think the only thing would be like a cinema um, that we would probably enjoy to have close by. But otherwise, there's not really much I feel we miss out on. Bid. 
This is a mini adventure. It's closed. I've just said about what amenities we have. It used to be in a, a, a noodle place, but looks like it's all closed. You see the construction is just trees. Tree stumps, basic wooden construction. And the house is just behind. But they probably haven't got enough customers here to justify doing, you know, noodles every day. Probably too much waste as only as that ever came, I think. So this is the house back here. Wooden house. And a different context, looks like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> They're closed over there, the noodle shop. They're closed today. They're closed today. Maybe uh, go to right field or something. <laughs> Don't know. Big storm coming. My, not, you're not big storm. They're always open. Oh, really? Operate Chico for visa extension. Normally she open every day. Visa extension? She Laos. She's from Laos. Mm. Does she leave every month? Every two months. Every month. Yeah, yeah. Every month. I don't know all the ins and outs, but that Lao lady, from what we understand, she has to do, she has to do a visa extension every month and pay for it. Or she has to go in and out every month, every 30 days. And she's been doing that for about 10 years. And she's got kids and a Thai husband, but she can't afford, you know, the marriage visa. Um, it's just starting to rain as we got back. So, sad really. Uh, it's my belief that in Thailand, if you've got kids and you've been here over a certain time and you can speak the language, then you should just be allowed to stay, you know, say you've been here over 10 years and you've kind of fitted into the society, you should be allowed to just stay. It's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy system that's separating parents from the kids. Because in some cases they can't, they can't do that visa run every month or they don't have the visa money, you know. But it's a world governed by the belief in the reality of money, right? A projection onto nature as if it were real. And the whole world is governed by it. Very little compassion in the system for certain circumstances, particular circumstances. So as you see here, my mom, she just uh, take papyrus, papyrus uh, from, you know, from a lake, uh, somewhere far away from here. She took one day to, uh, for the trip to go uh, find this thing. And uh, this is called papyrus. If uh, they use for making mat, for sitting in Thailand, we use this. And now it's, she just got it yesterday, and she going to rise in our garden and the area here because it's today. Lucky that we got sun today. It's been raining all the time in the past few weeks, and now we got sunny days. So uh, she put it dry in our place, in our area, because there is nothing around here. No buffalo, no cow, no dogs, no an any animals uh, walking around here. So it's safe and uh, it's clean here. So she's going to put uh, all this thing dry here. So when you cut this one and you have to dry it for three days, and then after that, you cut into pieces, like uh, one of these, you cut into three pieces, or two or three pieces, and then you dry it again. And then it, it until it go uh, brown or white, and after that, you put the color, and then you make the mat.